I was recently asked how I get so much texture in some of my Sushigibon inspired finished pieces, and I think it really comes down to an old school approach. When I'm selecting a piece specifically for texture, I'm not necessarily looking at the hard grain, but the grain in between, and trying to picture what that's going to look like with that dug back out. When I'm burning, I don't use any particular approach. I just try to make sure that I have a nice black canvas as usual and try to make sure that I have all the hard grain with a consistent dark tone. As a side note for those interested, I am planning on doing a tutorial on how to get a white finish as that's something that a lot of people tend to struggle with. Brushing by hand by far is the best way to get a lot of texture and in the beginning this is how I started. I didn't know about the Nihilox brushes, I didn't know about being able to use machinery, and I did everything by hand. I think it's important to note that to get the most texture you really have to put in a lot of time and a lot of hard work. A lot of times I'm asked, what am I doing wrong? I can't get mine to look like yours. And I think the thing is, is people don't realize how much time actually has to go into creating a heavy contrast and a heavily textured finish. Now to pay homage to old school, I figured I would just dye this piece that I'm using as a sample with General Finish's orange dye stain. Those of you that have been around for a while know this is my go-to for vibrant colors. I really love the contrast of the orange and the black, and I think it really does justice to a heavily textured piece. That's really all there is to it. It's not much different than any other piece, but you really have to take your time if you want to get that clean canvas for your color. Nothing beats the lines and the marks that gets left from the wire brush, and the texture is just something that you, you almost just have to see in person in order to really appreciate. Anyways, hopefully that helps a few of you out. If you're new to this technique or to this channel, I have a whole playlist of other tutorials going over in great detail the Shishugibon inspired finish. So I'd encourage you to check those out. It's helped a lot of people out over the years and you can find a lot of great information from them. Thanks for watching.